welcome to my channel welcome back if you've been here before I'm super excited because today we are starting the kitchen declutter I'm not sure if this is gonna be like a one or two part or even three part series on the channel um, because this is gonna be probably a big project because what I want to do with the kitchen is definitely declutter first I have already done a declutter in this kitchen before but I've done it off camera Riker's gonna join he's very interested in what's going on today say hi, hi. <laughs> like I said I've done a kitchen declutter before off camera so it's not bad <laughs> I know this can be a like sore spot for a lot of people just because like the kitchen is where we live like it's where we spend most of our time um, if you have an open concept house kind of like we do it's gonna be where you spend a lot of time and you see it all the time so it's just like a big major thing and it's so easy to hide clutter behind the cabinets like I know how easy this can be and let me tell you you probably don't need as much crap as you have you probably don't need as much crap as you think that you need I think the best way for me probably to do this declutter I thought about emptying all the cabinets because I do want to reorganize but I think first I need to go through each cabinet section by section and just pull down, figure out what I want to declutter first, and then I want to reorganize the cabinets to how I think that they're going to function better. Like if I want to move the plates to a specific spot, probably gonna have to have Connor maybe move some shelving around. The last thing I want to do is probably to buy things that will help me put things together like in groups just make things look prettier and get this kitchen looking really cute I think first things first is that we need to declutter so part one is gonna be decluttering and maybe some extra on top of that we'll see how long this takes so I've said this before in videos my son is with me right now I can't set the tripod on the ground because he might knock the camera over and that is how our last camera got ruined so I'm gonna have to set you guys on top of countertops so you may not be able to see as much as I'd like you to see for some parts of the video until he takes a nap that's kind of why I have some weird angles going on <laughs> to stop spend some time with my son because he needed me to pay attention to him then we had lunch and then I edited a video so now I'm finally getting back to my project that has just been sitting here on the counter Connor came home for lunch and we have started a declutter pile already which I'm very impressed with because we have already decluttered this kitchen like I said before, but I'm just amazed that we already have stuff that we can get rid of and we just opened one cabinet And then I pulled one thing out of another cabinet. So let me show you guys. This is what we've decided to declutter a mug a smoothie shaker thing um, a cup Another mug. This is a food processor. We have a bigger food processor um, so we really don't need like a small one So we're gonna declutter that as well so far the things that we've kept um, Connor likes to drink emergency. Um, he does not like airborne though, so I may end up putting these in the get rid of pile. We have some tea, some powder that we like to put in smoothies, more smoothie stuff, hot chocolate mix, and tea mix. And this actually, we use all of this. And then we also have these are like juice plus. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's like a gummy for like your vitamins and like uh, fruits and vegetables gummies and we have some more tea bags and Keurig cups so I need to probably go through some of these with Connor because he's more of the tea drinker than I am and then he, Connor decided to keep one of his water cups because he brings two to work so he already has two we have these two smoothie things that connect to our smoothie machine and then we have I decided to keep two cups because I usually um, I use another cup for drinking out of drinking my water out of but I like to use this one if I if the other one's dirty and then Riker also likes to use that one and then the mugs we decided to keep pretty much three each so um, these are Connor's mugs 
and then these are my mugs and we can also have guests use these as well. Okay, so my second shelf didn't have much in it, but I actually am getting rid of probably most of it. Um, I think uh, we have stuff in the dishwasher that we need to get, but we usually have eight big plates, eight small plates, and then we usually, I think we have like eight bowls as well. And we use all of them on a regular basis. And then I'm keeping just these two don't match our set like of plates and bowls and stuff um, but we use them for like queso and stuff and then um, these as well we kind of use for like extra like side dishes and stuff if we ever have like family over or have queso dip or any kind of like dip or something like that we use those for that that's really not a lot so Here's the stuff I'm thinking about decluttering. This goes with that other set of stuff that we use for dipping, and it's I don't, we really don't ever use it unless Connor thinks we need it, I will keep it. I have four of these mugs that go with my set um, that I've decided to get rid of, and then this sugar and creamer set, I guess, um, dish. The, this a set that I, I, we literally never use this. Something I did want to mention, when you're decluttering your kitchen, you're going to be tempted to want to keep sets. I, I get it, I understand, it is hard. Like, you're like, um, I bought this as a set, I spent money on this, or I got it as a wedding gift, like I'm not going to get rid of it because all of these pieces go together. But if you literally never use them, then what's the point in keeping them? And don't try to tell me um, because maybe I will use them because if you haven't used them at this point, then you probably never will. There are two options for you. I have seen people, like if you really don't have space in your cabinet for them, I have seen people, you can put them like in a box in your in your garage or something, something maybe like a basement, um, if you like store stuff in your basement, maybe put it in a box in a storage place somewhere where you can say, okay, I have company over every year, like once or twice a year, and this is when I pull this stuff out, then pull it out. If you have space that you can store it in your cabinet that it's not taking up extra space and just wasting space, then um, keep it in there. But if you literally never use it, it's time to go. Time to get it out. If you have like five sets of dinner plates and you and your family only use one of the sets most of the time, time to get rid of the other. Honestly, if you have a bunch of people over at your house, you're probably just gonna buy some paper plates. We usually keep the amount of plates that of the people that um, we have over here. So we probably have, we probably have five total people here um, about every week, including my mom's side of the family. And then Riker is six, but then we also use two plates for dinner, so seven, eight. So we keep eight plates. It's normal for us to go through those pretty quick. We wash our dishes every night. We don't wash them per meal. Um, it just depends on what works for your family when you're gonna wash them. Yeah, so definitely just have that in mind when you're decluttering things. Like, we have three mugs, and honestly, that's way too many. Neither of us drink coffee. Connor drinks tea, but I just think I like the I like cute mugs. So um, we're just gonna keep a couple mugs, but honestly, we really don't need that many. And so I am gonna declutter these mugs that we literally never use because they're so, they're so nice that we just never use them for hot liquid. So there's really no point in keeping them. So kind of a long little uh, tips and tricks tangent there. Um, I'm gonna keep going through these cabinets. I'm probably about to have a really messy kitchen. <laughs>
Okay, day two of the kitchen declutter. You guys, look at this mess behind me. It is a lot. There's a lot going on in here. I had Connor during lunch move the shelves. I'm trying to figure out where I want everything. Um, basically, everything's gonna have a new spot. Um, so that's a, kind of a lot for um, a kitchen declutter, but I think it's necessary and Connor's actually excited about it. So I'm just ready to like do it. So we have pretty much everything emptied out of the cabinets. I have every all the shelves kind of where I want them to be and I'm hoping this will work out. I'm moving all of our like drink stuff in this cabinet. This is still gonna be Riker's food. This one is gonna be like baking and also like our party supplies are gonna go up at the very top and then I'm gonna have spices and stuff in here not really sure exactly what I'm gonna do and then our plates and our bowls and um, drinking glasses not just like specialty drinks but just like our water glasses are gonna be in that uh, cabinet here along with some other glassware I've also have a massive decluttered Pile. Look at all this stuff I've decided to declutter. I'm just blown away. So I've decided to declutter our baby bottles. Um, my son no longer needs bottles. He's one and a half. So if we do have another baby, if and when um, we do have another baby, I will buy new bottles. They're worth the price to me to get fresh bottles. So um, this was our spice rack that held all of our spices. Um, but now they're all in here. Gonna get something to organize these. And then I have some glassware that we just never drink out of. They're super cute, but we just never use. And then um, you saw most of this other stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna de be decluttering this. I'm gonna see if I can use it somewhere else, but this is a maybe. And then I think you pretty much saw everything else, just some spices stuff. and. Yeah, I think that was pretty much everything. So I'm just gonna set you guys up and I'm gonna start putting everything that I can back into cabinets and then we will see how it goes. Okay, you guys, day three. I'm still working on just the top cabinets of my kitchen. So I'll show you guys kind of how I organized everything. Riker and I are gonna hit Target. We really don't have like a good like container storage place here where I live. So Riker and I are probably just gonna go to Target. I'm gonna see what I can find there. Kind of want everything to be like cohesive and kind of go together but not necessarily be matchy-matchy like in the TV shows that you see of like the home edits. Um, it's not gonna be crazy fancy even though I, you know, 
would love it to look that way. Long story short, I'm gonna show you guys the cabinets. Also go over with myself like what I'm gonna be looking for. So we put plates and bowls in this cabinet. It's like right off of the fridge. So um, this is a lot of the times where we have like a food assembly line. So this just seemed like the most logical place to put our plates. And we have our glassware. And then I just have some extra mason jars up here and I'd use these for like some food storage and stuff like that. Um, so I just put glass and stuff in this cabinet. And Connor and I always tend to cook in this area. So I need to clean off my cabinets, but we put all of our spices. I used to have like a tall spice rack that you saw me getting rid of and I put all of our spices, which holy moly is so many, but I put all of our spices in here. I'm gonna try to find something that I can like stick the spices in kind of like this. Um, I also might get like new jars or maybe like stickers or something that I can like label those. I'll, I'll just kind of see what they have um, at Target and if I don't find anything that I like then I'll probably look on Amazon. And then I just put like other bakeware and stuff up here, just like things that we um, bake with yeast. I put Riker's magnets that he uses for the fridge up there. Um, I kind of hide them from him right now because he tried to like stick them in his mouth and like chew on them. So right now they're just chilling up there. But I do have an empty space and I haven't quite decided what I want to put up there. Um, I may just do some like rearranging soon-ish and find good use for that space. Oh, and I was gonna mention, so I think I might get some kind of organizing basket to like put these in so it's like easy to like pull out, but I haven't decided yet. I'll see what I can find. So in this cabinet, these used to sit in our pantry, but I was able to clear off minus these napkins that I need to put up but I was able to pretty much clear off our our fruit basket used to sit over here in this corner. So I've managed to clear off everything and put like food and stuff in the pantry. And I was able to put these inside our cabinet because we, if we, like I said, if we cook, I like to like pull these out and it'll be a lot easier to have them right here. And they're not Looking up the counter, they can just sit in here. That was the only place that our vanilla fit. In this second shelf, I have like sweets that we cook with. So I have like sprinkles, chocolate chips, marshmallows, some cupcake things and food coloring things that we can like cook with. This very top shelf has just all of our like party supplies. So like plastic spoons, forks, paper plates, um, paper napkins and plastic cups. This cabinet is the only cabinet that didn't change. So I just keep Riker's food in here. We put like puffs right here, bowls here. Um, I have his crackers in there and pouches. And then I put all of his spoons and forks and stuff in this little jar. And then up here I have these empty reusable pouches and I fill them up with like applesauce. I might find a container for this, um, something probably that matches these. So these don't just stay loose in the cabinet, but then we usually put cups here and then I just stack his little mats, plate, mat, place, mat, plates here. And then this very top cabinet, I put our, our rolling pins actually way back there and then our casserole dishes go up here. If you come around up here at the very, very top of right above our stove and our microwave. Connor has a collection of shot glasses. We also have just like a, our special plates and cups. And then in this cabinet, this is the hardest two cabinets to get into and I'll show you guys why. So like when you walk up here, it's really hard, especially for me, I'm 5'1". It's really hard for me to reach this cabinet. And then the dishwasher is here, so when we fold it out, it's really hard to get to these. So I put the least used items here. We are not coffee drinkers. Um, so for us, that means putting the coffee mugs where we don't really need them very often. So we have all of the coffee mugs that we kept and we have like our water cups, smoothie cups and stuff like that and we put those up there. And then down at this bottom part is stuff that we 
um, use a little bit more than we do these. So Connor likes to make tea every day. These are just like brewed teas. Like back here we have like brewed options for tea and then Connor will sometimes put this in like his smoothies. Obviously we have like smoothie stuff and then um, I have this milk frother that Connor got for me whenever I do make like a chai tea latte or something. Um, emergency for like extra vitamin C and like hot chocolate and stuff. So um, stuff that we, it's like kind of like specialty stuff. And then there's really not a whole lot in this cabinet, but we do have our toaster up here. Like I said, I try to get my appliances off the counter. So we keep our toaster up here and when we use it, we just pull it down, plug it in right there, put it back up. Um, I have some of Riker's old things that we may use for another baby someday. I have a bottle warmer and then I also have the Hakka, I don't know how you say that. Um, it's like a breast pump thing. I just have this serving bowl that um, I've kept just for like if we have company over and we eat chips or something. Um, I hardly ever use that so it is at the most difficult spot to get to. So up here I have to use a stool. So I lied to you guys, this cabinet is the hardest to get into, but I probably use this stuff once or twice a year. So I have a big O cooler bag. Um, it's like an insulated bag. I use this if I'm gonna take food to like a party or shower or something like that. This is Connor's grilling tools. This little thing, I got this out yesterday actually to show my mother-in-law, but this is like a casserole holder that my grandmother-in-law made me. So it's like a, I use it if I ever bring like a casserole to a party or something. And then I have this lunchbox and this is great for like if we're traveling, I put like my favorite drinks and snacks and stuff for the car in that. So we rarely use this stuff, but we do use it. Oh, and I guess one last thing, we do use the top of our fridge just to store our griddle. And we use this probably once a month for pancakes. Okay, so we are back from Target. I got, these aren't meant for like kitchen organizers, but I've gotten quite a few of these. I actually really like these because they fit really well in my cabinets. They are the room essentials. They have tons of these at the store in multiple different shapes and sizes. Um, I actually got six of those. I've already started putting them in here. So I got six of these and then I ended up getting, which I need to pull this tape off this riser thing and I have decided to, so these, I've decided to buy a label maker. We're gonna put labels on these and then with these spices, I'm gonna, I bought this new set of jars and I'm gonna just put labels across the top of them too and I'm probably gonna put them like across this front piece right here. I'm probably, this is expandable so I'm probably gonna expand this into this area as well. I thought about putting some of this into a basket, so um, kind of see where it can fit. I have a whole extra storage area up here where this like shelf is empty, so kind of see what I can do, but that's everything that I got. So I didn't get a whole lot, and it's not gonna be like, you know, crazy fancy. Everything is in clear plastic bins, and it's not gonna be like that, but it's, it's gonna look it's gonna look good and it's gonna be a lot more functional, especially for me because I am short, so it is harder for me to get stuff down here. So I can just grab one of these, pull it down, and then get whatever I need out of it. So that's actually gonna help me a whole ton. And I'm excited to just start like going through all this and like organizing it. So I will put you guys on a montage and we can do this together. <laughs> right here this was a lot of trial and error for me I was just going back and forth on how long I needed to make these risers and I ended up going with making it the full length of the bottom shelf and just putting all of my pretty spices down on this bottom part right here
I've officially finished the top cabinets in my kitchen. This is probably, I think I've decided going to be a four part kitchen declutter. So top cabinets, bottom cabinets, um, refrigerator and pantry. My favorite thing I think that I've done during this kitchen declutter, which let me shut these, is these spices. With these spices, I um, of course put them on risers like I told you guys. I got some clear jars from Amazon. I will link them down below. And then I just got a label maker. I will also link that down below. And I labeled everything and put um, all of the ugly, like plasticky um, shakers into these jars. And I think it is beautiful. So far, it has been working very well for our home. And then the second thing that I decided to do was put all of our Sorry, there is somebody mowing next door and it's very loud. So I put like extra spices and stuff in this. Everything that you saw up here previously, like the baking stuff, we put in baskets. Since I am short, this is gonna be a lot easier. And I did mention to you guys that I had clear space up here. So I ended up actually getting something for Christmas. I got a casserole dish holder so that just ended up going in that spot and Riker's magnets for the refrigerator are still up there as well that I did was I put this basket up here and um, it used to have I used to have two smaller baskets and it had like cupcake stuff and um, flavorings for like um, baking like sweets like sweets baking stuff I put that ended up putting all of it into one basket instead of having two baskets. And then I just kind of pulled everything forward because I really don't have anything behind those um, items. And it's a large cabinet, so I didn't really need that space, so I just pulled them forward. Um, pretty much everything else you saw in that cabinet. This cabinet, I ended up replacing. We actually had one of these in our house, so I was able to find more different storage for the stuff that used to be in here. And then I put Riker's um, empty food pouches in here because they were just kind of lying in the cabinet before. The last thing that I organized was our teas and stuff. I used to have these glass jars that you guys probably saw. Um, I used to have a big jar and a little jar and I ended up, I was able to just put like all the teas into little baggies and our like Keurig cups into there and then like our drink mixes and stuff into that. So I do have one shout out to give in this video. Someone who told me that they really wanted me to do the kitchen declutter and it is Lisa Ruley. So shout out to you on um, encouraging me to start uh, decluttering my kitchen. I did want to give you guys three steps to decluttering your kitchen before we head off. I know this is a long video, bear with me. Step number one, declutter. Step number two, organize. And when I say organize, I mean make it to where it's gonna be best functional for you and your family. So if you bake in a specific spot in your kitchen, make sure your baking is up there. If you have a coffee pot, Make sure that your cups are right above your coffee pot. Be logical about it and just think about it and don't be afraid to pull everything out of the cabinets and start with a clean slate so that you can figure out the best possible options for you and your cabinet space. Third thing, make it pretty. Do this at your discretion. Um, you can you know, do the clear plastic containers like you see on the home edit or you can do something kind of like what I did in bins and just like risers and stuff. Um, spend as little or as much money as you want to. It's your space and I want you to make it beautiful to where you can open the cabinets in the morning and say, oh, this is just so easy. This is, this is gonna make my life so much better and it's visually appealing too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for part two, three, and four of this kitchen declutter. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,